Well of Life, welcome from Costa Mesa, California. I'm sitting here in Tyler and Haley's apartment. We are self-isolating and uh, it is wonderful to give you, me an opportunity to just say hi to all of you around the scriptures. Thanks Rob and the team for inviting me to offer a devotional and I want to dive straight into a psalm that I know will edify and strengthen you during this time of uncertainty and anxiety and vulnerability. My word, how this caught us off guard. Uh, as one of our guys said, where were the prophets when we should have had the prophetic warning? And I smiled at him because he is a prophet. So that's how things go. Psalm 103. David writes, I bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. You know what I love about that introductory line? Is his soul didn't want to worship the Lord. He's having to speak to his soul. His soul was downcast. His soul was probably a little as we are right now, wrestling with anxiety and fear and grief. Uh, what's going to happen to me? Am I going to lose my job? Am I going to have to go somewhere else in the world, says the Dubai expat? Um, is my job solid and secure? What will happen to my kids? Will they be able to go back to school? And all those things can cloud over us, hang over us like a, like a deep, dark London robe in the middle of the endless rain that can so often overshadow the UK. But instead, David says to his soul, now listen, soul, you cannot let the anxiety and the grief and the cares of this world and being locked out and you cannot see a dad and mom who are in another country and that country can't, uh, won't allow you in. He says, now come on, soul. What I want you to do is I want you to praise the Lord. I want you to leave aside those things that can so easily overshadow you. And I want you to praise him. And then he says, well, let me remind you, soul, of the things about this God that I'm telling you to worship. I want you to remember of all his benefits. In other words, think of your life for just a moment. Meryl and I were reflecting. And Tian, who's back from San Diego at college. And we've spent some wonderful evening dinner hours just talking and invariably, as we did Easter Sunday lunch, we raised our glasses and toast. And Tion was the first to say, thank you, God, for the many goodnesses and kindnesses. And in this verse, the benefits that you have given me. What a time to pause from anxiety, fear and grief. And to say, God, you have been so, so good to me. Who forgives all of my iniquity, what a big religious word, all of my sins and transgressions and rebellions. You know, I love the fact that God chooses to remove those from me. In fact, he chooses to forget them. That's a good moment to pause when we have so much time on our hands, almost to reflect on the sins and transgressions that we've had and to be able to just put them aside. So oh God, you have forgiven me and you've removed them from me. Who heals all your diseases. What a great promise to stand on. Now we know everyone will die at some point in time into a greater eternity with God and we'll recognize each other and probably high fire each other as we, we land that great escalator into a new heaven and a new earth. But He heals us and He redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with everlasting love and mercy and satisfies us with, with the good even as our youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. These are great moments for us to pause, quieten our soul, lift our voices in praise and worship. Tyler introduced me to a whole new genre of young black worship leaders here in the U.S., and I put my earphones in on Sunday in the rain and I went for a long walk. And just as well, there weren't many people there because I was singing at the top of my voice. Great is your faithfulness. Just great anthems of sovereign adoration. Can I suggest that's a great response to the darkness, pain and vulnerability that we're feeling right now. Even the great David had to speak to his soul and say, come on, soul, let's do this. God bless you all. Love you heaps. Looking forward to being with you in January, hopefully. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.